Hi there. So you may be thinking to yourself right now, Genghis, what is this? Are you an anime VTuber now? This is not the normal content that I come to see. And uh, you'd be right about that. And I don't plan on becoming like a full uh, VTuber, but I might start doing this for fun on Twitch uh, when I play desktop games or I don't feel like using a cam or something. But the reason I wanted to make this video is I was able to set up this entire avatar and get the VTubing software um, working within about 10 minutes. And you can see that it, I'm not using VR, I'm just using my webcam and it tracks my eyes. Um, I can do this, I can do that. Um, and honestly, I think it looks pretty good for the short amount of time that I did this in. Um, so if you ever wanted to kind of get started with VTubing, I'm by no means an expert. This is my first time doing this. Um, I thought I'd give you guys kind of a short tutorial video on how to do this. So let me get started. All right, so I'm on my desktop. Now there's essentially two pieces of software that you're going to need to set this up. The first one is called Vroid Studio and I'll leave a link for this in the description. Um, and this is a great piece of software that lets you easily make uh, good looking 3D models without really having to have any kind of professional experience. Um, so you don't need to know how to use Blender or Unity in order to do this. And it's pretty simple to use. The second one is called VC Face, which is also a free app. Um, they're both free, so this is free as well. Um, but this is similar to software like Leopit, and this is what, you know, does the, the face tracking. All you need is just the webcam in order for it to track your uh, head movements, eye movements, and your your face movements as well. All right, so you're gonna download both of these. The first thing you wanna do is you're gonna wanna open up Vroid Studio. It's gonna look like this. These are ones that I've made. Um, now you can start from scratch, but if you want an easier time making this quickly, you're gonna choose one of these prefabs. Um, so just for the purposes of this video, let's do this one, which I haven't used. The one I made was made with the Victoria one. Okay, so this is what the model looks like. Now you can export this as is, um, but you might want to edit this to your own preferences, which is what I did. All right, so you see you have a face editor. Um, you can, you know, adjust things with the face here, with your eyes. Um, you can obviously, you know, it's essentially just a character creator. Um, adjust the skirt. You can mess with the hair a little bit. Um, so if you click on individual pieces, you have the ability to hide anything you want by clicking on that button. It might look uh, Japanese, but this is for the, the pre-made ones. Um, you can also mess with the hair color. So if you click on this, you can make it a uh, green or let's see, we'll make that, let's make it yellow. Um, you can adjust on individual pieces. You can also change the highlight color. So you can mess with the hair. Um, so it's a pretty in-depth uh, VTube um, or 3D model maker. Um, also make that head bigger or smaller. So really anything you want. It's not gonna be as robust as things like Blender or Unity. Um, so obviously if you have the experience on more advanced uh, 3D model makers like 3ds Max, um, that's gonna give you much more advanced tools and you can do a lot more with that. Um, let's see, don't wanna mess with anything else. Um, you can change the texture if you go over here. Um, this is the texture editor, so I believe this is how you can mess with the different skin color. Uh, you can also draw directly in the face, so let's say I wanted to, I don't know, add like scars or something. Um, I think I have to go back to the head. Make 
get like a weird color. <laughs> All right, um, I believe you can change the textures as well. Um, let's see, the whole body. I mean, it looks pretty good. Um, and you can also mess with the clothing. So, let's say I wanted it to be a long coat or, oh, that's just the base model if you wanted to add your own clothes. start with maybe a pencil skirt. Um, I believe you can also add accessories, but if you wanted to like, you know, make something super quickly, um, I would just start with a base model and then you can change this to whatever color you want. If you keep it at white, you can also um, adjust the colors here. So you can make this bigger, you can make it like rainbow colored kind of ugly. If you ever make a mistake on anything, uh, press, hold down control, press the Z button, and that will um, go back, which is pretty common in most softwares like this. All right, we're going to make this rainbow colored, so we'll just make it really big. So we'll do red. Um, you can also do the color up here, so red. Um, we'll do orange. Yellow, green, blue, make that pretty messy, <laughs> and uh, purple. Um, and if you do it right here, you can see it'll also color the back. So if you're doing it in this window, um, make it smaller. Uh, yeah. You can also adjust that as well. Pretty standard software. Um, you can draw on the front and it won't go on the back. So you can also edit it in 3D. Um, you can put like your initials, like I'll do, um, Guess VR. Um, that's pretty neat. And you can adjust the shoes as well. So, so I wanted like red shoes. Okay, that looks pretty decent. Um, Obviously you have a little bit more edits you can do here. I mean, it's not super um, robust or advanced, but it does the job. All right, so we have our cool new uh, avatar that we can use for VTubing, which we made relatively quickly. Um, now you can save this if you want to edit it later. So you do like, um, VTube tutorial quick. Save that. We're going to export this. So we're going to call this a uh, YouTube tutorial quick for the name author. You want to put your own name probably. So I'll just do Gingas and um, that's it. We're going to do okay. And we're going to save it as something. So I'll just save it to downloads. YouTube tutorial quick. It has to be VRM. Now you can export these two things like VR chat. I'm not entirely sure how that's done yet. Again, I'm, I'm uh, pretty new at this, um, but VRM is the file format that you need for most uh, VTubing 
software. So we'll save that. Okay, cool. So we have our awesome avatar, which we made super quick. Um, now, obviously, you're going to want to download this. This is how you're going to set up your uh, VTube thing. So I have mine um, extracted right here. So you're going to want to extract that. You're going to open it up. And um, I will actually open it up from scratch. So this is what it's going to look like. Um, now you're going to add avatar. You're going to go to that model you just made. This is what it looks like. You're going to click on it. You're going to set your camera to your webcam. Um, the microphone to your microphone. And once that looks good, then click on start. Make sure you're like standing up straight. Um, and there you go. This is our new um, B-tubing avatar. Um, you can see it kind of tracks the eyes. It can talk. And we made this super quickly. Let me pull this back up here. Um, it looks like the matrix, um, but you can see it already switched over. So I'm going to show you how to set this up in OBS now. Um, hopefully it's not too confusing with the matrix. Uh, so you're going to want to make a new window. Okay, so I was mistaken. Um, it's actually you want to do game capture. So to do that, it's you do game capture and we're going to call this V All right, and then you're going to want to do capture specific window. It's going to be VC face, allow transparency. Um, you want to uncheck capture cursor, and you're going to do that. Now it's not working because I am already I'm already capturing the window. Um, so this is essentially what you want uh, for the settings. Cool. Um, now, if I drag this out further, you'll see that. We have our settings in there. So to get rid of that, you're going to come back to the VC face uh, window and you're going to click on this button right here. That'll make it transparent. Um, and then you can drag your avatar all over and you're not going to have the uh, little settings menu there anymore. Um, but let me go back to this window. Uh, I hope that this was a easy and quick tutorial um, to get a VTube avatar set up super quickly. Um, so let me know if this is helpful to you guys or if you want me to do more VTube tutorials. I'm still learning. Um, but yeah, other than that, have a great rest of your day.